by 2040, there's an expectation um, in terms of an increase of demand for lithium of 870%, uh, 220% for cobalt, 390% for graphite, and 210% for nickel. Um, so really what this scores at is that there was a really rapid development of EV runway in terms of manufacturing capacity and ability to roll out quickly, but perhaps the same attention wasn't paid to sustainable supply chains of minerals, um, sourcing those, and also so reliable supply chains there. So kind of as we move forward here, there we go. <clears throat> the first figure here um, is really looking to touch on kind of what that looks like from a demand side as well. We know kind of what the supplies are going to look like, um, but what are the anticipated kind of shortages for demand? So here we really highlighted nickel, cobalt, and lithium. Um, there is a really limited supply of these critical materials. Um, they're often concentrated in a handful of small countries. Um, and it's even more concentrated at the refining stage, which we'll touch on uh, really quickly here. But these are really some of the places we wanted to start and really show the urgency of this. And this was made in collaboration with a partner, uh, IEA, uh, who really does lead a lot of this research in terms of uh, global mineral availability and EV transition. So for nickel, uh, for example, there's anticipated to be a 1500 kiloton shortage by uh, 2030, um, by uh, 2030 as well, 50 kiloton shortage for cobalt and 225 kiloton shortage for lithium. So uh, another thing we wanted to really highlight here was that these are anticipated supplies with recycled capacity, uh, really growing at a rapid rate as it is today. With 2023, it really doesn't make up a large percentage of supply, uh, but with the idea in hand being that a rollout of um, several technologies simultaneously, being the ones we're talking about today, hydrometallurgy, pyrometallurgy, and direct recycling, um, really can bolster this and bring us closer to that demand perspective, but we are still anticipated to fall short of total demand by 2030. So.